Hey, if you have a big trip planned this summer, you're going to want to lean in, listen in, tune in, because you will likely want to bring a little piece of that vacation home. Sometimes vacation mementos can be little more than knickknacks that collect dust and take up space. But with some wise choices, you can start curating a well-traveled home. Decorator and traveler, Tanya Jardine, is here with some ideas. It's great to see you. So fun to be here. So you could just come home with photos, throw them in a frame, call it good. But which what, is amazing. Which is fantastic. Yes. What is the appeal to you, though, of bringing home a token, bringing home a memento? I think it's like something tangible that like you can look at it or touch it and it rushes back with those memories. Takes you to that place. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We have a little salt container on our kitchen. I mean, we could all share something. Yes. And and every time I dip into it, it's like my toes are back on the Caribbean. Exactly. You know, I mean, you just, it, it does. It reminds yes. you of that memory of that moment. And the idea of a collection, though, takes it a step further. Like, everywhere I go, I'm going to bring home a certain something. Okay, so that's, I think, a little bit something that people get caught up in. Like, they think if they do it once, then they have to continue to do that same same thing uh -huh. but that's you can do that for sure, sure and that's great um, but you don't have to do that and then that way it becomes very unique to your home it adds to that when I say well traveled I think of the word eclectic as well yes, in yes. a polished way yes and so exactly. if you're not committing yourself to your point to a collection you kind of lend your treasures to more of an eclectic traveled space yeah yeah and you also sometimes you'll purchase it with a place in mind mm. at your house mm -hmm. so then you've like spent your money wisely yeah but then you also have this treasure that right. you're going to look at and it's going to take you back to that experience. And you won't waste a half a day looking for the right silver spoon. Right, right. <laughs> okay, talk us through some of your best travel mementos. What's happening right here? Okay, so I love, love this, and it's very easy it's beautiful. and inexpensive. So when you travel, just take a little notebook. Okay. And you can, you know, pluck off a little leaf off of a tree or off of a bush <gasps> or somewhere. So those are from France. They're from Barcelona. Oh my goodness. Different places. And then put it in your little journal that you've got with you ready to go. Uh -huh. So it stays nice and protected. Pressed. And yeah, you press it, leave it in there, put some books on it. <gasps> you can use a flower press to press it. Oh my goodness. Then you put it in your frame and label it and you have an immediate treasure. You own a flower press? Well, we sell them at the shop. Well, this is beautiful. <laughs> I think for I any... I know, it's so pretty. What a great giftable for any... I know that's not what we're talking about, but yeah, I was I was enamored so with pretty. the idea of a beautiful flower press. Yes. And then taking those blooms or those leaves or those that foliage home from your different vacations and growing this glass frame with yeah. you as your travels progress. Like, that's amazing. It's so fun and so simple, and it doesn't cost you anything. Here's a fun idea that will cost you <laughs> something, <laughs> and that's to bring home a purse. Yes. Okay, so you have to be within reason here. But I do think purses are fun because, again, you'll immediately connect to that travel, that yes. travel experience. Yes. But so many times they're handmade. Like, I got this in Athens. Wow. And it was at, the the man was making it in front of me. Oh. And, like, you can't get that experience very many places. Right, right. You know? So I just think that's so fun. And, like, the little black and white purse uh -huh. that is from the amalfi coast oh my goodness. and i bought it because it reminded <gasps> me of twisted sugar it's like a little bakery totally, on a purse totally totally yeah yeah and i keep it in my kitchen of all the funniest things you to do. do not where do you yes put it? i do so i have glass cabinets and i just keep it in with my dishes like on one of the little things that you can see through the glass you have a purse mm -hmm. styled with your dishes and no one ever notices that they just think it's cute uh -huh. but they're like is that a purse? No, I never <laughs> notices it's a purse. I love that. So yeah, whether it's yeah. thrown over your shoulder or tucked on a shelf, mm -hmm. it, it's a reminder of where you were. Exactly. Okay, let's talk bottles, vases. You've done a beautiful little curation here. Okay, so this, again, is very inexpensive, and so it's a treasure. It is. So it is so fun, and I have a variety, and this is one that could get a little carried away, like if you get one everywhere you go. <laughs> but I really just started with water bottles. Like, they set the water in front of me, and I I was like, like that's pretty. How can I get that home? That's pretty. Yes. Do I be obnoxious and drink all the water real quick so that I can stick it my purse? Do I guzzle or and hide? Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh. So I have them from Cancun. I have it from um, Prague. How cute. I have it from just Texas at Magnolia. Uh huh. This was literally from Walgreens in 
Twin Falls, Idaho, because that was my very first Twisted Sugar. So you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they all mean something and I can go Seattle, I can go Texas. Like you can name all the different places. This was from a winery in Italy. We just asked to take the wine bottles. And that was a funny story in itself because I was with 30 people who don't drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so that was hilarious too. We want too. the bottle, we don't necessarily need what's in it. Yes, but the <laughs> thing with this is, I think once you, like if you collect them or start use, doing that idea, you uh -huh. wanna display it on a tray or something that gathers them all together so that they look pretty, so even though they're all so different. So they look purposeful and not yes. cluttered. Yes. So do they live together most of the time or are you pulling one out well, for Well, I have a few. So like I clustered this one uh -huh. for you guys today, uh -huh. but I do have some that sit behind my sink okay. on a different tray. What a yeah. fun little exercise to look yeah. at what, what you're taking home and how you're using and it at home. And it's so fun and so easy and inexpensive. Books may be a little more more obvious but I do love the idea of again that being a, a time stamp or a memory stamp yes, of where you were. Yes and lots of times with books like it could be a children's book it could be a, a big book and lots of times these are heavy and I'm an overpacker on a good day. I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna <laughs> ask that are you shipping these home? Like I'm an overpacker on a good day. <laughs> so lots of times I will like if I'm at the museum or whatever and there's a book that I love yeah. I'll take a picture of it and then I'll just quickly look if I can if I have service I'll quickly look and see if I can get like on Amazon uh -huh. or at a bookstore or get something. It at home. But this one I got after a trip. Let's okay see. so this one is Amazing Castles and I was like okay the castle that I went to has got to be in there. Was it? And it was. Hold on, is yes. this it? You've got it marked. Yes, I've got it marked. Oh my goodness. So this castle right oh, here is in the Czech Republic. Green together. And we walked through a forest to get there. I'm not even kidding because we went the wrong way. You walked through a we forest? We went through a little forest. It was just a little trail, but full on forest. And then immediately this white castle bursts out of was the forest. Was there an angel chorus and birds chirping? Because... It was in my head. <laughs> Because I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Wow. So this was just a purchase after I got home, but yeah. I knew it had to have the castle in it. And when it did, then that has all the information about it. And look at you storytelling. And I don't remember. Yeah, you're, you know? you're storytelling to us though, that moment and, and the- And, and the... it was so like out of a dream. Yes. Out of oh, a dream. wow. Can I yes. come to the Czech Republic with you next time? Yes. We've got 30 <laughs> seconds. You say bowls, another good, you know, again, something that you might buy with your home in mind or a because space in mind. Because it's useful. Yes. Like all different kinds of bowls, but this one, the wood bowl is made out of an olive tree and I got it in Greece. These little ones are from Mexico and I put my sponges and my washcloths and different things sitting next to my sinks in How those. Fun. Like, think of what you actually use yeah. and then buy accordingly. Where is your and next? And it's a treasure. Where is your next trip? So we're going to California, I'm Sunday. Okay. But then we're going, I'm going with my girls to London next month. Oh, so plenty of so treasure. that'll be fun. Treasures yes, in the store. Treasures. I, I love that you love <laughs> to, to scope the earth like this and to it. bring home pieces into your I think it is so fun. Space. Tanya, thank you. How can yes. we connect with you online or visit the store? Okay, so Tanya Jardine is my handle on Instagram and it's Tanya with an I, not a Y. And then the store, you can follow us on Instagram or go to our website and it's pinkandpinehome.com. I'm paying you a visit up in... Leighton, Utah. Leighton, Utah. Yes. Worth a des it's a des destination trip, we like to say. It's worth a visit yes. to see this lady's beautiful brain on display. Thank you for of sharing course. your passions with us.